find the coefficient of x to the power of 11 in the binomial expansion of what we have over here. So each individual term of the binomial expansion would look something like this. It'll be 13 choose some number, which I'll just leave blank for now. And then we'll have 9 over 2x to the power of, let's say, a. And then we would have the minus 2x squared over 3 to the power of b. Now this, this number that we have over here could be either a or b, doesn't actually matter which one it is. Pascal's triangle is symmetrical, so 13 choose a, 13 choose b, they'll give you the same number, so I'll just put this as a. And we know that from binomial expansion, the addition of these two powers should be 13. So we know that a plus b is 13. We're looking for the coefficient of x to the power of 11, so we want our powers a and b to give us, in the end, x to the power of 11. So to make this easier, you can just do this in your head, but if you're struggling to do this in your head, I can show you an algebraic way of doing it. Let's forget all the numbers that we have in this expression here. Let's just look at the x parts. So from what we have here, we have 1 over x to the power of a. From what we have here, we have x squared to the power of b. And this is the same thing as x to the minus a times x to the power of 2b. You can then add the powers. That's then x to the power of 2b minus a. So this should be equal to x to the power of 11. And that gives us a condition for b and a, or rather it gives us an equation involving b and a. 2b minus a is equal to 11. We already have from earlier that a plus b must equal to 13. So we can solve those two things simultaneously. We can add them up, that gets rid of the a and the minus a. We end up with 3b is equal to 24, so b is equal to 8. Putting that back into this, we get a is equal to 5. So we can now, we're after the coefficient, so we can now put that back into the expression that we have. 13 choose 5 times 9 over 2x to the power of a, which was 5 times minus 2x squared over 3 to the power of 8. So we can see why this gives us x to the power of 11 now more clearly, hopefully. If you look at the x parts, we have over here we have x to the power of minus 5, because x is on the bottom. And here we'll have x squared to the power of 8, which is the same thing as x to the power of 16. And 16 minus that 5 will give us 11. So yes, this will give us x to the power of 11. We want the coefficient, so we want the number that's in front of that x to the power of 11. So before we ignore the numbers, just considered the x. Now we're going to ignore the x's and just consider the number. So that will be 13 choose 5 multiplied by 9 over 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by minus 2 over 3 to the power of 8. We know there will also be an x to the power of 11 coming out. We can just ignore that for now. Put this in our calculator. We end up with 92664, and that is our answer.